Hello MotoGP fans, welcome back to ZNGP today. Mark Marquez's recent victory at the Mizano circuit has ignited discussions within the MotoGP community. After a long drought of 1,043 days, Marquez claimed a hard-fought victory at the San Marino GP, showcasing his fearless riding and determination. Frankie Carcati, Marquez's technical boss at Grazini Racing, offered insights into the triumph praising Marquez's bravery and the strategy that led to his success. Ducati's Francesco Bagnaia has made headlines following a successful test day at Misano. While his performance on the track was impressive, Bagnaia's strong opinions on the new MotoGP radio system have stirred up discussion in the paddock. The reigning champion has voiced his concerns about the system, which is set to be introduced in 2025, drawing a surprising comparison to NBA legend Michael Jordan. Mizano proved to be a challenging race for Jorge Martin, who faced a tough day on the track. The Spanish rider's decision to change bikes early during the rain-affected MotoGP Grand Prix cost him dearly, as he ended up finishing in 15th place. Despite the setback, Martin remains optimistic about his championship chances and is focused on learning from his mistakes. Here's more on what he had to say after the race. Don't forget to click subscribe button and the bell icon for MotoGP news update. Marquez's victory at Misano marked his second win in just seven days, following his long-awaited return to the top step of the podium at the Aragon GP. The eight-time world champion demonstrated his exceptional Rasa craft taking advantage of the rain to charge through the field from 8th place and ultimately overtake Peko Banyaya to secure victory. Mark has worked really hard this week, and I really thought we messed up in qualifying because here, where you start determines how the race goes, especially at Mizano. Frankie Carcady told by Motorsport. Carcady admitted that Marquez's performance in the rain was pivotal, but emphasized that his rider's bravery was the true differentiator. Despite a fall in Q2, Marquez's relentless pace and practice provided crucial insights that informed their race strategy, particularly the decision to run the medium tire instead of the soft. We ran the same tire for up to 28 laps on Saturday morning, and that was why we used the medium in the race and not the soft. We knew that in the last six or seven laps, the soft would be at the limit. Mark, in these conditions, you know, He's the bravest of the brave. Marquez's decision to stay out on track as the rain intensified was a key moment in the race. While the conditions undoubtedly played a role, Carcady stressed that Marquez had already positioned himself well before the rain, and it was his fearless approach that allowed him to capitalize on the opportunity. Sure, the rain helped Mark to lead the race, but he was already in a relatively good position. If he had been able to overtake without the rain, I'm not so sure. But Mark, in these conditions, is always willing to take risks. Carcady acknowledged the risks involved in Marquez's decision-making, noting that the rider saw an opportunity when Jorge Martin headed into the pits. With Marquez set to move to the official Ducati team next season, Carcady admitted that such opportunities to win may be limited, making this victory even more significant. With everything that was going on, Mark obviously saw that Jorge was coming into the pits and that he would have a chance to win. I don't know how many we're going to have this year, so Mark took the chance with a lot to gain and nothing to lose. As the season progresses, questions remain about how many more victories Marquez can achieve before joining Ducati. Currently 53 points behind championship leader Jorge Martin, Marquez's path to the title is challenging. But Carcady believes that with continued work on the bike and qualifying performance, further successes are possible. In Aragon, we had a perfect weekend right from the start. Everything was perfect. Here, not everything has been perfect, but we had the pace. We've done a lot of work to start Friday much closer. It's a question of working with the rider. The more you work, the more you understand, and we can start closer. Carcady emphasized that while race pace has not been an issue, perfecting the details in qualifying and other areas is crucial for future success. Reflecting on his experience as Joan Mir's technical boss during his 2020 championship winning season, 
Carcady understands the importance of addressing these finer points to maximize Marquez's potential. Honestly, qualifying could have cost us dearly this weekend. Because the pace for us was clear. That has never been the problem. You just have to fix those little details. Carcady concluded. Mark Marquez's victory at Mizano is a testament to his unparalleled bravery and determination on the track. Under the guidance of Frankie Carcady, Marquez continues to push the limits, taking calculated risks that set him apart from his competitors. As the season unfolds, the focus will be on refining the details that could propel Marquez to further victories and perhaps even a final push for the championship before his move to Ducati. Bagnaia ended the Mizano test day at the top of the leaderboard, improving from fifth place at midday to first by the afternoon. Despite testing some new components, his focus was primarily on preparing for the 2025 season, rather than the aerodynamic parts tested by his teammates, Jorge Martin and Inia Bastianini. I have worked a lot with a view to 2025. Our bike needs something to improve which unfortunately we can't use now because it still needs some development at the electronic level. Quote from Francesco Bagnaia. Bagnaia also spoke about the new Michelin front tire, which he described as a pleasant surprise. He praised its braking performance, comparing the experience to the legendary Bridgestone tires often mentioned by Valentino Rossi. I love it. With this tire, I seem to have a lot more margin. I think it can help me because I can push a lot more on the entry. However, the most talked about aspect of Banyaya's comments was his strong opposition to the new radio system being tested for future implementation in MotoGP. Banyaya didn't hold back, comparing the fines he expects to receive for not using the radio to those Michael Jordan famously incurred for wearing red shoes during games. I think I'll be fined at every race like Michael Jordan. I won't be using any of that stuff. Banyaya raised concerns about the discomfort caused by the radio system, as well as the potential for distractions while riding at high speeds. He argued that the current communication systems, like the dashboard and graphics, are sufficient and that additional communication could be more harmful than helpful. There's no need for any more communications. They can also be distracting, and we drive vehicles that don't allow distractions. Banyaya also updated on his physical condition following the Mizano GP, where he managed to secure second place despite dealing with shoulder pain. He credited a combination of painkillers and localized patches for helping him manage the pain during the race. Reflecting on his race strategy, Banyaya explained how his local knowledge of Misano's weather conditions helped him avoid a costly pit stop, which caught out his rival, Jorge Martin. The effect lasted until two runs from the end, so I felt pretty good. This time Martin made a mistake, and we took advantage of it, but he's not always going to make a mistake. Banyaya concluded. Francesco Banyaya's strong stance against the new radio system highlights the ongoing debate within MotoGP about the balance between safety, communication, and rider comfort. As we look ahead to the 2025 season, it will be interesting to see how these issues are addressed and whether Banyaya's concerns will lead to changes in the planned implementation of the radio system. Stay tuned for more updates as the MotoGP season continues, with more action and intrigue on the way. Jorge Martin was in a strong position at the start of the Mizano GP, holding second place when the rain began to fall. However, a strategic miscalculation led to an early bike change, which ultimately backfired. The rain soon subsided, forcing Martin to return to the pits to switch bikes again. The double stop left him far down the order, and he could only manage to secure a single point by finishing 15th. Martin's mistake allowed his rivals, Marc Marquez and Peko Banyaya, to close the gap in the overall championship standings. Despite the frustration, Martin remained determined to take the positives from the experience. I got off to a good start and felt pretty comfortable that I saw that the rain was gradually increasing and I decided to stop. It's clear that the strategy wasn't the right one. I just have to learn from this, 
Keep moving forward. I think I can do better next time. Martin told by Modisan. In his post race interview with DeZone, Martin was questioned by former MotoGP rider Danny Pedrosa about whether he felt he had lost a significant opportunity in the championship. Martin acknowledged the error but refused to see it as a defining moment in his title bid. Martin emphasized that his pace remains strong and that he is focused on improving his strategy in future races. He remains confident that his championship aspirations are still intact. Maybe I should have been clearer that my fight is with Peko, but I don't think I've lost the world championship nor won it, I'm just still fighting. I'm fast. Tomorrow we have an important test to work on time attack in order to do better in the next race. As the MotoGP season progresses, the competition for the championship intensifies. With Banyaya and Marquez closing in, Martin knows that every race counts. However, he is determined not to dwell on the past and is focused on what lies ahead. I'm going to focus on myself. I'll stick with that and we'll see what happens in the future. Martin concluded. Jorge Martin's resilience and determination to learn from his mistakes will be crucial as the MotoGP championship battle heats up. While Mizano was a setback, Martin's belief in his abilities and his focus on the future show that he's still very much in the fight for the title. We'll keep you updated as the season unfolds and the stakes continue to rise. Stay tuned for more MotoGP coverage. Thanks as for watching ZNGP today, and this is your MotoGP news update. See you in the next video.